after his arrest. With one deputy killed and other facing murder charges, now the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department is feeling the ripple effects of losing two deputies. As Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese explains, they had pending cases that may now be dismissed. It's exactly two weeks since Santa Fe County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Martin lost his life. Fellow Deputy Ty Chan faces murder charges in his death. It's been a very tough uh, couple of weeks for, for us here at the Sheriff's Department, but we're taking it day by day. As the department heals emotionally, it also has to pick up the pieces administratively, namely the open cases left behind by a fallen deputy and another behind bars. It's important that the officers are present for the successful prosecution of these cases. Since the deputies can't be present. Misdemeanor cases that are filed in magistrate court, if the officer is not present, will more than likely be dismissed. That includes cases like traffic tickets and first offense DWIs. Tai Chan worked in the warrant division, so Major Ken Johnson says he may not have a lot of pending cases. But when it comes to Deputy Martin, the Major says he may have several cases because of his position. Deputy Martin was assigned to our patrol division, in which they routinely handle more of our misdemeanor cases. As for felony cases, the district attorney will make the call how to proceed without the deputies. Reporting in Santa Fe, Regina Ruiz, Action 7 News. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department is looking into how many cases are affected. Albuquerque Police